All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. So once again, just testing out Dex without the Lawala chain and seeing if we need to make a temporary move. So of course, you guys know my one of my close friends, my YouTube friend, Stanzi, suggested that, you know, if I wanted to play Lawala chain so badly, I can always play traditional, which means I would get one Lawala chain, which is really all I need. It's just one. You know, there's not a lot of times where I'm just like, man, I would wish I wish I had a, a second Lawala chain. Sometimes, sometimes I do. But, you know, at one, I think that's where Lawala chain should be. But he's like, you know, why don't you just go ahead and go and play in traditional. But the thing is, the Lawala Chain isn't worth me dealing with all them cards at one. Like, yeah, sure, I get Lawala Chain, that's awesome. But look at all the cards that are coming back at, at one, you know. You know, pot, you know, the shit that is actually broken and deserves to be on the list. So, I'm not a big fan of doing that. I'm not. So, like I said, when it comes to just the, the, the movements, it would be temporarily just for me... To be able to provide you content and wait to the next list to see if they're gonna bring the level chain back. Because, like I said, I, I personally, I just think that they're just they're banning the level chain just for worlds, and they might bring it back next list. If not, then you know we'll deal with it accordingly at when the time comes. But uh, you know, just for now, just to play until worlds comes. Like I said, worlds is like in like what two weeks, you know. And I'm not sure if they're just gonna immediately update the list right after worlds. But there's just some decks that just feel so slow and sluggish without a level chain, where it's just like, man, you know, um, it's going to take me forever. Anything that requires me to send more than one monster, i.e. Ubel, just seems sluggish without Ubel, because, you know, the level chain was that extra sending, that, uh, that foolish that's always there for me in that extra deck, you know? So, you know, Snuggle's been real with some decks like, you know, like Labradite, Ubel, and, uh, and, uh, Wow, she's gonna drop all of them on my ass. So here comes Beals, because it's pretty obvious this is Beals. <laughs> right? Because, yep. You're the tuner. Sync you, you, and you, Beals. Yep, Beals. Mm hmm. I can handle Beals. Right? I mean, it is Ubel, see, so I should be able to handle it. Unless that backer stops me, of course, but I should be able to handle Beals. So I'll go ahead and take the 16. So I could just use the call to haunt and summon back Armageddon Knight, Armageddon, Armageddon Knight, get a send. Summon Dark Rafa, Dark Rafa, pitch send, go into... You can't play that during your end phase. This is still during your end phase. So that card is still set. Like, really? It's a quick play spell. Once you set it, it becomes a trap. But you're probably too stupid to know that, so now you can play it. Now you can play it. So I changed my plan. I totally changed what I was going to do because you decided to go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and summon Terror. So I guess we'll just stall out with Terror for a little while. At least until I get uh, some cards that will allow me to level modulate. I'm going to maybe pitching the Tomato. I said Tomato is just so slow. Especially with Terror on the field. It's just like, what are you doing? Like, absolutely nothing. Yeah, they're so Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and summon that Greffer. Get the fat pitch. Go ahead and send level eater. Yeah, I think decks like Labradite, Ebelixes, Supervised, they just seem a lot slower because they require more than one sending. You know, if it's just Ubel, if all I need to do is to send Ubel, then fine, sure. That's it. But when I have to send, you know, Ubel, Labradite, Maui, uh, Doom Shaman, uh, Level eaters is just a lot more to send. It the deck it seems like it's just slower and just patters out. So of course if I start getting some level modulating cards, oh okay, thank you. 
So hopefully that piece of back row is something to deal with it because with Ultimate Nightmare. Because if you can't deal with Ultimate Nightmare, I'm gonna kill you. All I have to do is attack. You go up to not six thousand. Attack again, game. So hopefully this back row is something to stop me. Because if it's not, you're dead. You're dead. You were sitting okay when you were when it was just uh when it was just uh uh Terra Incarnate. But now it's Ultimate Nightmare. Now you're in trouble. Now you are in some deep shit. Uh, oh, and some level modulating too. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. All right, I am thinking about go ahead and going into fortress. No, no, why go into fortress when I can do uh, Dora? Damn, it doesn't really matter. I just want to get rid of this card. Like, this is what I want to get rid of. So I'm thinking about maybe going to Dora and then making Ultimate Nightmare unaffected by whatever his back row is. When I attack, then he'll go up to, you know, his high attack. Yeah, activate this. Level Eater, eat a level off. Wish I had another level Eater. Multiple plays. Eat a level off Ultimate Nightmare summon. Galaxy Queen's Light, make them, they'll be both be 10. XC into Dora. Probably in defense mode. Yeah. Then ultimate nightmare attack. You take three thousand. Or should I just go? No, no. I should. I should definitely go into. I'm going to super chocolate fudge cover too. Oh, I can kill him. Attack two thousand. You take two thousand. You go up to five thousand. Attack. You take five thousand. Now I wouldn't be game. If you were at no, that wouldn't be game. Uh, cause I have a feeling that that piece of back row is definitely something to go ahead and try to fuck me up. So, hmm. Like I said, I could go into Enterprise and literally just banish his beals. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Activate. Okay. So, do I want to go into Dora? No, I want to go into Enterprise. So, level, level. Damn, I'm already typing a level chain. <sighs> level eater effect on uh, slime. So, go ahead and drop down to level 9. Uh, Galaxy Queen's Light, all 9. These two. Into. Okay. You got a response? Stop. What's up? Slime. This card's got to be a total of a monster you control reduces level by one if you do that. Blah, 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 blah. Why not? Tell me why I can't do that. Slime is a monster now. Effect monster. So, you got anything else to say? When I special summon it, it special summoned as a monster, obviously. So, so any other? Okay. So, both nine. I mean, all nine. All nine. 
Holy shit. What would lead you to? Into Enterprise? So, either way, it's a plus. If you use this back row in Enterprise, then I'm just going to come at you with Ultimate Nightmare. But if you don't use back row in Enterprise, then I'm just going to banish your Beals. So, uh, back to banish a card you control. So if you, I said, if you use back row in Enterprise, great. Yeah, I'm going to come back to you with Ultimate Nightmare. But if you don't use back row in Enterprise, then great. Then I get to banish her beetles and start smacking you up with Enterprise. Ooh, that's fine. Mm hmm So you'll, you only have one card drawing in two. So let's see that Black Queen magic. Awfully, you get like a Sirocco and you have like a nothing. All right. All right. <laughs> you just quit. That's my next card. In reverse. All right. I say I want to know your guys' opinion on it. Do you think we should just try to stick with what you got and then, you know, just slowly, slowly try to do plays, which of course will equate to me with more losses because it takes me longer to get set up, you know, especially in like Cosmic and you battle uh, exceeds and supervised, or do you think we should just temporarily replace them f with other decks that don't rely on you battle as much? and wait until the next list, and if Lala Chen comes back, then great, we can go ahead and bring back decks, but if not, then we can decide accordingly, do we want to go ahead and bring those decks back, and uh, just use them slowly without Lala Chain, or, uh, or uh, keep the decks that are currently on Vine and Y, and just say goodbye to Lala Chain and goodbye to these decks, you know. The reason why I didn't accept that duel is because that guy had way too much experience. Like, he's obviously going to be, you know, using something, something that I'm just not up for, for dueling. I mean, I guess you shouldn't judge people by their rating, but it's just like, no thank you. Like, there's no reason for you coming in rated. You know, look at all that experience. You, you should go get your rating back, back up and rated. Hmm. Hand's not bad, it's just not good either. Guess I'll go ahead and... Summon, in fact, you know, 60 card deck. Got no revival. None. None of my trap cards. It sucks. We got terror, so we just need to get level leader and we can actually use message in a bottle. So that's not terrible. I don't know why you're saying ha 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 ha. Like, there's nothing to say ha 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 about. Hmm. 60 card gem knights. Alright, well. I'm not sure how well I opened up in comparison to dueling against gem knights. Here is clearly going balls deep. And the 60 card deck still opening stupid with gem knights. Mm -hmm. Uh, was that 500? 3400? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I can go ahead and activate the summon you. Summon Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight. Send level eater. Play message in a bottle. Summon you three back. Yeah, you, you, and Level Eater. Then I guess I can go ahead and XC those two into like a Dora. Dora's not even strong enough to get over fucking Gemini Brilliant. Like, damn. She, she's, a, she's one badass bitch, isn't she? Well, I did a Level Eater. I can summon Enterprise. Because I'll drop down. Oh, wait, no. XC you two into a. Hmm. Or should I just go Armageddon Knight Send? 
activate my chain bottle, summon, 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 exceed those two into like a castell or something. Spin her back. Yeah, that should be okay. So, you cannot special summon any other monsters during the turn. Exactly. This is a blah 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 blah. The ones which are in the other you don't know if it's during the turn you have to discard. And it says after, right? If you don't see something this turn after summoning those three monsters. Alright, so let me get my effect. So he opened up pretty busted for fucking a 60 card deck. Like, damn, he brought out fucking Brilliant and fucking this guy. Just like, like, damn. So, of course, I gotta go ahead and send the leader. Then I'm gonna go ahead and activate message in a bottle. And he got back row too? Like damn. Like there's, there's nothing more powerful in Yu-Gi-Oh than opening up with back row and powerful monsters. There you go. And of course we're gonna go ahead and overlay these two. I'm still up on resources, so well, at least these effects are negated, so. So of course we're gonna try to go for a castell. Defense mode. <laughs> At least I don't take 4,000 this turn. Turn that bitch. I have no idea what these two cards are, but we're gonna try to get rid of her at least. Damn, and this has an Armadies effect, so once he kills my fucking Ubel, I didn't even look at him. God damn it, and I don't have anything strong enough to handle it. And I could. Cannot special summon any monster step card XC summon, so. Yep. So I'm not even gonna get terror. Damn, because of him. And he kills my Ubel. Damn, I am not looking hot right now. The snuggles are real in this duel. That he chose to kill my Castell. This card attacks or is attacked. Period. Damn. <sighs> I got another message in a bottle, so I just got to exceed some so I need my new level modulating, like seriously. Got nothing in the grave that can help me right now. These two effects are negated, of course. I'm going to activate Metal Reflex Slime and go into like a Dora or something. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. This card is attack or attack. Can a card, the opponent can activate card or card effect until you end the damage step. So later if I even go for Dora and then I fucking attack. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go into Dora. I wish I had my level modulating. Galaxy Queen's Light, you know, Starlight, Star Bright, any of those would be great, but I didn't get none of those. Because he did burn up a lot of resources to do that play. Okay, I'm guessing it's fine. Since he's screaming fuck at the top of his lungs. All of those two. And I would love to go for super chuckly fudge cover. I just don't have another level 10. Dora. Use effect on self. Thank you, Bell. Equip you. We'll go ahead and run over him. That uh, way, even if he has back row, still, I'm okay. Alright, if you can is controlled by battle by card effect, target one of those monsters with damage equal to your attack. So I take 22. Once you're trying to discard it in your great body, you can send one generally from your hand to the great body to add. Oh, okay. That's inconvenient to say the least. Let's say, is he really gonna kill me by burning me to death? So he send one Gemini card from his hand to the grave right, and add that card back to his. Shit.
Huh? I can mass chameleon. I'm gonna mass chameleon summon back you, Bell. Then go into Armides. Yeah, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Synchro summon you two. To Armides. Yeah, and now who's the one that got their maybes? Go ahead. Say so that I win this duel? That I come back and win this duel? And I was looking dire? Diamond Wolf? No, oh, Starlight Storm, right? I could go level either effect, either level off, and then uh, activate Starlight Star Bright, and then go into Enterprise if I wanted to. I I think I'm good. Just in case I get Mirror Force, I don't want to get Mirror Force. So I'm just gonna attack with Armadies. I'm not in a hurry. It's not like you can activate any of these battle traps anyway when Armadies attacks. So. Yeah, I don't know who has their mateys. Okay. What's this do? Should be one Dermot I target one Dermot Knight. You get Wrath plus someone to target in the graveyard. Okay. I definitely feel like he has some kind of mirror force back there or something. But you know what? It's fine if he uses back there to stop me. I'm gonna go door effect on self. Self, I can't even type self, self, self. So I'll go ahead and kill you so you can't activate anything when he attacks. And you can't, you can't. Made his fight. No. If you control Dermot, it's destroyed by a card effect. That's during the damage step. Okay, 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 whatever, whatever, sure, 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 whatever. I don't know where the step is after the damage step. I attack decoration. You're destroyed. The, 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 then the attack resolves after the damage step, and then I attack you directly. But it's okay. Whatever. Whatever. I don't know. You guys tell me. Like I said, I don't really care. Like I said, I knew he was going to beat me by burn because I knew he couldn't outbeat me. So there we go. But hey, that skill is trash for you. That's what comes to burn. I hate burning you, Gail. But <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call up. So, so like I said, tell me what you guys think about the changes. I don't know. I don't really care. I'm just going to keep on trying to attempt to record, if not, whatever. So, uh, because it seems like that would go off after the, the, no, oh, maybe it is after the damage step. I don't know. I've never seen that card before, so maybe I should just go ahead and look it up and see when it goes off. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, see you guys, uh, tomorrow with Cosmic EO. Alright, people, thanks for watching. <laughs>